Hey everyone, this is Nathan Phillips checking in. And today's video is gonna be a breakdown on some resistance band exercises that I do, particularly for the ankle and the muscles associated with its range of motion. Now, in previous videos, uh, if not here on YouTube, most definitely on Instagram, uh, I've discussed the importance of conditioning the joints and muscles of the lower extremities. This first movement is for plantar flexion, pulling the toes away from the shin. Uh, but you really gotta try to control the band flow during the plantar flexion and the dorsiflexion. In other words, you don't want to let that band snap your toes, your metatarsals back too quickly. You want to stay under control and it's hard to demonstrate control and to get the activation and stretch you're looking for if you do the motion too quickly. The second exercise is for dorsiflexion, our opposing motion. So you'll be utilizing the muscles on the other side of the leg now, for example, the tibialis anterior. Now as demonstrated, I recommend sitting cross-legged with the ankle nestled to your knee, just nice and close. Like before, moving in a controlled motion, flexing the toe up slowly and back down slowly under control. These next two drills, I call them 3A and 3B, are interesting motions because many people are unaware of how much eversion or rather external rotation of the feet actually occurs while we're sprinting. Uh, when landing, the toes or while the feet may slightly turn outwards to better control the landing phase of each step. And though it is true that the most biomechanically safe technique would be to have the toes facing straight ahead, that's not always realistic and not always possible just because there's so much force being created and exerted within the foot and the ankle joints. Nonetheless, focus should be external rotation of the foot. 3B is all about inversion, or rather internal rotation of the foot. And this is gonna require you to get into a slightly different body position with your legs crossed. And all these things can be kind of tough to remember, but once you understand the motions you're trying to recreate, you'll figure out how and what appropriate body positions are best for you to get in in order to get the activation and the stretches that you're looking for.